Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Hopefully this is gonna adjust this a minute, sorry. Alright, hopefully that's better. Uh, it is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Uh, it is... Stop, hey, hey! It, having animals is so much fun sometimes. Um, it is bitterly cold outside, and uh, I think they're saying it's 18 in town, which means it's probably about 12 up here, and then you figure with the wind chill factor, <laughs> dog quake, um, with the wind chill factor, it is probably, I think they said with the wind chill it was like 3 degrees, and that was at 18, so probably with the wind chill up here, it's below zero. What are you doing? It's, it's just relax for once, please. It's like, I swear to God, they got to be literally up my behind every second. It's like, give me a minute. Just give me a pause here. <laughs> They're too funny. Anyway, um, topic of the video, I wanted to talk about are we going to see $4 a gallon gasoline? Uh, I think California might already be seeing $4 an hour, or $4 a gallon gasoline already with what Joe Biden has done already uh, with his executive orders it definitely uh, affects you know what we got going on as far as we're no longer going to be independent of foreign entities to rely on our oil we're going to be oil dependent once again because of what he's done so we're going to be beholden to countries that hate us isn't that awesome so smart. These guys are just so, so smart. Um, you know, I want to, so here's something else I want people to think about, okay? Um, and there's like another reason why I think you're going to see oil, or I mean, well, ga gasoline uh, being as expensive as it is. So he shuts down the pipeline, right? And uh, the pipeline was shut down, the, their production of that, which hurts Canada and it hurts the U.S., why was the pipeline shut down? So here's some, just something to chew on, okay? And I read this, so um, I want you guys to do your research, and if I'm wrong, please be the first one to tell me that I am wrong, all right? Warren Buffett owns a lot of the railroads. A lot of the railroads right now transport a lot of that oil um, to the refineries, okay? So Warren Buffett makes billions of dollars doing that. So will you, come on, stop, go, go lay down. Um, so he makes billions of dollars transporting that oil. If that pipeline is in place, there is no longer needed for him to transport that oil because I'll have the pipeline. Uh, he donated a tremendous amount of money to Joe Biden's campaign, right? So now... There's that payback. We ta I've talked about this before. Uh, one hand washes the other. Everything's done for a reason. Everything's done uh, behind closed doors because money's involved. It always, at the end of the day, it always comes down to money. Again, does Joe Biden or any other politician realistically give a crap about the rest of us? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, there may be a few out there, uh, you know, very few. But I think the most part of most of them are just a bunch of money-grubbing, greedy SOBs, in my opinion, okay? And, uh, but this is what happens with politics. I do something for you, you do something for me. So shutting down the pipeline, and the immediate effect of shutting down that pipeline construction is all the job losses. All these people that were working on this pipeline, getting it going and, and working on it, uh, you know, that, uh, that definitely... It, it affects a lot of things. And, and all these people want to talk about, oh, the, the effect on the environment. If this pipeline is done right, okay, it literally has almost no effect on the environment. If you have migra migration, uh, you know, paths and stuff like that, uh, that can be worked in. They can change that up or, or however they need to do it so that it's uh, environmental friendly. So that, that, that argument is not a, a valid argument, okay? Uh, progress has to continue, you know, and um, so it, it's just, if you look behind the scenes all the time,
There's always a reason for everything. So why is Biden making these moves to make us dependent on foreign oil once again? Uh, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, it's a lot of politics behind it, but at the end of the day, um, and again, I've told people, you know, like before the election even happened, when you have somebody that basically is stating, and this is what kills me, you have somebody that's basically stating, I'm going to raise your taxes. I know, yes, I see you. Hello, Miss Sox. Um, I'm going to raise your taxes. I'm going to stop, you know, he wants to go green, um, so he wants to kill uh, coal, he wants to kill, um, you know, domestic drilling, uh, you know, in some of the reserves where they were doing some exploratory stuff, he stopped that as well. So, again, we'll end up being dependent on foreign powers for our oil, because um, we're oil dependent. It's, it's not going to be going away anytime soon, okay? Am I for green energy? Well, as you guys know, I have my own solar system. So I, you know, I like green energy, okay? But I like green energy because it affords me independence, okay? When you have issues, let's say you run into financial issues, everybody has in their life, right? And you have to decide, do we eat or do I pay the gas and electric bill? I mean, it's, it's come down to that before, all right? And so people are obviously going to take care of their families. They, they have to, especially if you have children. So then that power company has this control over you. Well, if you don't pay, we shut you off. Well, when, you're, when you can be independent, they can't hold that over you. They don't have that power anymore. You take away their power. I've learned through jobs through the years, and I think this is something interesting. Okay, So these different jobs, they think that they control you and have all this power over you. And as soon as you tell them, Go screw yourself, which I have done in the past. <laughs> okay, I know it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe, but stop. No, stop. Um, when you tell them to go screw themselves, you've just taken away all their power. They can't control you. They can't threaten you. They can't intimidate you anymore. So with being independent, they have no control over you. They don't like that. And when I say they, I'm basically I'm talking about the power company is what I'm talking about in this instance. All right, so that's why like having my own solar system is just so wonderful because I don't have to rely on them. And uh, I love that feeling. Uh, I love that feeling that every month I don't get a bill. Now, have I made a significant uh, investment into my solar system? Absolutely I have. But I have no intention of going anywhere, okay? Solar panels will still be working in 30 years. They'll probably be still working when I'm dead, you know? So, it's just, you have to, you look at a situation, you assess it, would you rather invest that money into yourself, or give that money monthly to somebody else? And I've had people say, well, my, my gas and electric bill's not that bad and stuff like that. Try living in the Northeast. Try living in the Northeast. I remember um, living in Rochester, New York, uh, Greece is where we lived. And we had uh, a February and a, or January and a February that were like extremely, extremely cold. Everybody, like if your normal bill, our ga gas and electric bills would be winter time. It was like three hundred a month. And, you know that that was winter time. Well, that particular January, that bill that we got for us was like six fifty. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have a whole bunch of extra money sitting around just to, to throw away to the power company and so they were so gracious they were like well we can extend that out you don't have to pay that all at once but they made a killing that year a absolute killing because if you figure they did that to a million customers and basically doubled their bills that's a lot of money coming in for them okay so again I would rather be as independent as I possibly could we not re not rely on that system um, you know, having my own power, the lights that are on here while I'm doing this video, um, is from what I collect from the sun. And I think that that is an absolute awesome thing. Um, it's just, it's amazing how it works, and it's well, well worth it. But when you have, so anyway, so what I had warned people ahead of time, I'm getting off on a tangent, and I'm sorry, but what I had warned people before, be careful what you wish for, because you're going to get it. Biden basically ran on a platform, I'm going to raise your taxes, I'm going to basically kill production of fossil fuel, 
um, and he wants to go green and he wants to get rid of all this stuff and he wants us to be you know in this in this position right which I have no problem with the green part of it but you're never going to get rid of um, the combustion engine and all the the need for oil because oil is in so many products it is unbelievable all right I gotta take these off <laughs> I got like a dry eye um, anyway we're gonna see four dollar a gallon gasoline in my opinion I definitely want to hear your feedback on this. I want to hear what you have to say. But with the actions, these executive orders that he has taken, it's definitely going to drive the price of gasoline up. I mean, just before he came in, as I told you, just when I went on vacation, in one day, the price of gas went up 30 cents a gallon here in New York, in my area. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. We went from 229 to 259 Now, right now, I went and got gas yesterday. Um, it was 249, so it came down a whole dime. Big deal, right? It's still 20 cents more than it was, um, you know. And they will make every excuse in the world to drive up those prices. Scare tactics. Uh, you know, there's there was a storm and our production's down, but you know they raised the prices because of the production being down or a, a facility is closed. Well, that facility's back online in no time at all. Uh, that's a high priority for them, but they don't ever bring those prices back down because they're just making bank. Okay, so again, um, you know, with, with the moves that he's making, we're, we're screwed. We're absolutely screwed. So all of you who voted for him to raise your taxes, to make your lives more expensive, and I want you to think about the trickle-down effect of this, okay? With you have, when you have higher gasoline prices, it costs more for transportation, which puts the price of all the goods at a higher level. So now, who pays for that? You and I do. In food prices, clothes, uh, merchandise, whatever you're buying from the store, it has to be transported. When it costs more to transport it, everything goes up. And at the end of the day, the average citizen pays. People like Joe Biden and the people in Congress and the people in the Senate who are making serious money, they don't care about that because it doesn't affect them. It does not affect them. If the gasoline goes up, a little bit higher it's no big deal here's a good example of this okay you go into a place like Washington DC and if you are living in the rich section of town where the affluent people are and you go to a gas station in that section of the town the gas prices are much much higher there you know why because rich people don't care they're just gonna go and they're gonna gas up their car and they're not gonna think about it now once you get away from the richer sections the gas is cheaper still too expensive but you're going to have people who are going to generally, a lot of times, they're going to shop around more if they can. If they have options, they're going to go to the cheaper places to get gas because it affects them directly in the pocketbook. So just something to think about, okay? Um, I want to hear your feedback on this topic. I definitely, um, please like, comment, and share as well, and I appreciate you doing that. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would ask you to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon to get all notifications as well. Uh, really quickly, I want to remind everybody again, and I'm doing it at the end of the video, but that's okay. Um, I'm running a sale right now on my website, PrepperNurse1.com, with the legacy freeze-dried foods. So if you go to PrepperNurse1.com, you click on store, it will drop down and it will say legacy. You click on that. What we have available is there. When you check out, you will save 20% off on your purchase. So that's what I'm doing right now for you guys, is giving you that opportunity to add to your long-term food storage, GMO-free. 25 year shelf life, uh, the largest portion size of any of the other freeze dried food companies. Again, I couldn't say that if it wasn't true. So um, check that out. Made in the US, which is good. You're helping American businesses as well. So um, definitely take advantage of that and save yourself 20%. Okay? Um, remember, guys, we are all in this together, and ladies, of course. Um, we are one race called the human race. As soon as we can focus on that and stop the games, stop the baiting by the governments and the media and the people in charge, the real people in charge, that want us to fight each other over race, religion, or whatever the case may be, okay? It, it's, it's absolutely insane. If we can focus past that and focus on what the real problem is, which is big business and big government, we would be in a lot better shape because then we could really tell them, listen, you work for us, <laughs> you know? And then, you know, that would be, we would be in a better situation. But anyway, also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. 
tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Um, it's just important to tell the people that you care about every day how you feel. Also remember STD. Step thing and day. If this flares. Okay, before, okay, we'll do that real quick. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're going to do in life, whatever you're trying to accomplish, set the goal, make it happen. The only person that can stop you from reaching that goal is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from negative people that want to bring you down, and you're going to be in much better shape. Um, you know, you really will. So, what I was going to tell you was, the fire, I just put two, there, I got a nice bed of coals in there, and I just put two more logs on there just before I started the stream. So it may look like the fire's not going, but the fire is actually going. Um, it is kicking out a little bit of heat here, which feels good. Uh, it is definitely a cold day at the homestead. Alright, I hope everybody's doing well. I will do another video later today. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.